Hello and welcome to Megor's technical support video series, Frequently Asked Questions. In this video, we will review the remote operation of the DLRO 100 series low resistance tester. Let's get started. Remote control operation of the DLRO 100 series is offered over USB on two models, namely the DLRO 100H and the DLRO 100HB. To begin the setup for remote operation of the DLRO 100, first you would have to set the rotary switch that is on the right side of the instrument. That rotary switch should be set to the PC position. Then locate the USB port on the DLRO 100. Once that's located, connect the provided USB cable. The other end of the USB cable will connect to your PC. When using the DLRO100 remotely, the test instrument screen will show PC control on it. One important aspect to understand in the setup for remote operation is that the results from a remote session cannot be saved on the instrument. The user will have to save the results into a PowerDB form on the PC. So now let's look at the procedure for operating the DLRO 100 remotely. So I have launched PowerDB on my computer here and you can find the instrument on the instrument selection screen. You can find it sometimes in the favorite section if you use this equipment more often or you can find it if you scroll, scroll down in the meters section. So that's right here and there you have the DLRO 100. Let's click on that. After you do that, a form opens up in PowerDB. So this form, you can have information such as your substation position and equipment location and all the other details that are available to be entered so that you can record the specifics of the job you're on. Once that's complete, uh, if you look at halfway down the form, you have this blue button that shows the DLRO control panel. So let's click on that. Once you click on that, you will have a control panel pop-up that will have several menus. The first menu is the instrument status, which gives you information on the asset options and all the instruments connected. So for the DLROs that would be connected, you will have some connection information that's given. That includes the instrument status, whether it's disconnected or not. It'll give you what serial port your DLRO is connected on your PC. It'll also give you hardware information that includes firmware versions, model numbers, and serial numbers. Of course, if you have more than one DLRO, you are going to have that same exact information for those particular instruments. Next is the instrument detection method. It's suggested to leave it in automatic. You can have it in manual, it's configurable, but I'm gonna leave it in automatic. Now the refresh button can be used if you have timed out for some reason, or if you walked away and you're back, and somehow you've lost connection. So hitting the refresh button will allow you to reconnect the instrument back to the PC. So let's do that. I am going to connect my DLRO to my PC. And once that's done, I am going to hit the refresh button. So you can see a dialog says detected one instrument. And the moment that's completed, you can see in the first DLRO section that the instrument status is now ready. It's at serial port number three and you have the firmware versions that have populated including the model number and the serial number. So this DLRO is a DLRO 100HB with the following serial number information. Next, we will look at the remote control. We do discuss the asset manager in a different video, so I would recommend you watching that. So now let's come back to the remote control screen. So if you click on that, you will have a different dialog box that opens up. First, it's gonna show you the instrument controls. Of course, it has the start test or the test button. Then it'll have the first rotary switch that will let you choose two modes. So in the automatic or excuse me, in the remote control mode, you have two options available. First is the manual mode, and then the next one is the continuous mode. The automatic mode is not available for control operation. And you also have the second rotary switch, which has only the testing side active. That is, 
you have the ramp that's active and then you have discrete magnitudes of course in the ramp section you can choose the ramp times and the magnitude of test current that you will be applying to the test specimen and of course if you need uh, preset values of 10 or 50 or 100 amps they are readily available next is the test options section of the form so you of course have the selected instrument as the first DLRO if you have multiple DLROs you can have uh, selections to the second or the third so we're going to leave it at first then the asset name you can have your asset name based on your requirements now the ramp time now the ramp time is the time it takes for the D uh, that you would provide for the DLRO to reach your test current magnitude so for example if the set current in this case is 10 amps it'll take 0.5 seconds for the test current to reach a value of 10 amps and the plateau duration stands for the amount of time for which that current will be injected in the test specimen so once you initiate the test it'll take about 0.5 seconds to reach a 10 amp value and that 10 amp value will stay constant for about 5 seconds before the test begins to ramp down and then finally the test ends of course you have this button to send asset information to the power db form now if you move further down the screen you have the resistance value that would be measured the current that was passed through the asset and the voltage that was measured so the resistance is going to be a calculation of the voltage measured divided by the current that's injected of course you'll have a graph for current versus time and we will see that once we initiate a test here of course you have continuity leds so similar to what you see on the actual instrument you'll have the leds pop up either gray or green to make sure that if it's gray that means the connection is not maintained but if it's green you have a continuous connection across your current and potential leads so without further ado let's begin uh, a quick test so i have a test specimen connected here so i have everything else set up and i'm going to make sure i have everything else that's done such as the ramp time i have a plateau duration i have a set current i'm going to change the current to about 50 amps and you can just change it you know, edit it using your keyboard and once that is complete i will be hitting the start button and you would might hear some beeping sounds because of the remote operation and that's normal so I have initiated the test it's initializing and you can see hear the beeping sound and see the graph there you go so we have come concluded one of the tests and you can see that a resistance of 1.5975 milliohms was measured after injecting 51 amps and after a voltage drop of 81.34 millivolts was encountered across the test object so you can see the ramp uh, that's representative of a 0.5 second ramp then you can see a 5 second plateau and then a 0.5 second ramp back to zero so this magnitude would be about 50 amps and you get that time you can see that the plateau duration and the time matches the resistance value is documented here with the voltage and the current so once that's completed you can uh, click on send asset to form and the form should be updated so let's go and look at the form I'm gonna cross out and click on return to form once that's done you can see that test number one was conducted that has one record for five seconds you have all the details at current was 50 amps and a resistance was measured and that's it so that's how you would get a remote control session now if you click on test details you will get more specific information as far as the date and the time that the test was performed and that's pretty much it as far as remote control operation is involved to terminate an ongoing test you can use your PC by pressing on the stop button on the DLRO 100 control panel another way to terminate the test would be by moving the rotary switch from the laptop position to any other position or 
pressing the test button on the instrument. To terminate the remote control session, exit the DLRO100 control panel on the PC or move the rotary switch to any other position than the laptop position. This concludes review of the remote operation of the DLRO100 series low resistance tester. Visit the Megar YouTube channel for more videos including technical webinars, product overviews and other how-to presentations similar to this one. Contact us for questions or more information about this topic or for any support you may need for your electrical testing.